He came to power leading a rebel army 30 years ago. Now Ugandan President Yuri Museveni wants another five-year term. Here at his final rally in the capital Kampala, thousands of supporters waited in the sun for hours. Museven, what he's doing here is bringing development to the villages levels. But as Museveni started speaking, some people left. People here said they'd been told they'd be paid about $1.50 to attend. The ruling NRM party denies paying people to attend rallies. The main opposition leader is Kiza Besage. He ran against Museveni three times before and lost in elections that he says were rigged. And this time, supporters have been handing money to him at rallies. And Besage says he has more support than ever before. The voice from the people is that they have been failed in the last 30 years and what could not be done in that long period cannot be done in another five years. The other prominent candidate is a long-time Museveni loyalist and former Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi. Critics say he was involved in the government's alleged corruption and violence. He denies it, but his supporters say he can bring change through his powerful connections within the government. My main worry is uh, the use of state machinery supports one candidate against all the laws and two, the planned interference with the electoral process and the possibility of rigging. On Monday, police stopped Besage and his supporters from attending a rally he'd called in central Kampala. Otherwise, campaigning has been largely peaceful. Besage has been arrested many times by police over several years, and Monday's unrest seemed to make him only more popular at the final rallies. After driving round Kampala suburbs for hours, Besage has picked up crowds of tens and tens of thousands of supporters. Seems wherever he goes, more and more just follow. And there's no doubting that here in the capital, he's got the numbers. But about 85% of Ugandans live in rural areas, not here in the city. All parties say they have the rural vote. Ugandans are waiting to see if polling will be free and fair and if the main parties will accept the declared result. A disputed result could lead to more unrest. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kampala, Uganda.